Hi and welcome back to another one of our videos. In today's video we're first going to take a look at the Qantas Business Class Lounge in Hong Kong, then the British Airways A318 Business Class from Hong Kong to London, and finally the British Airways Arrival Lounge in Terminal 5 at Heathrow. The Qantas Business Class Lounge is used by British Airways customers at Hong Kong International. You can enter it based on One World status, Silver or Emerald, or if you hold a Business Class or First Class ticket. Inside, the lounge has a really nice light feel to it. It's very spacious and you can see out from the windows to where the planes are docked at the gates. We had no problem finding a seat even though BA have an A380 and a 777 departure just 15 minutes apart from each other. The lounge features a good selection of wines, beers and spirits. There's a small bar area near where you enter the lounge where you can order drinks, but there's also some help yourself stations located around the lounge including the usual tea and coffee and also soft drinks like cola, orange juice. The lounge food offering consists of a buffet. There is a hot section with plenty of hot dishes like rice dishes or their soups. There is then sort of a cold station which had uh, sandwiches and salad. And then finally there's also a section where you can grab some desserts like cake. Um, all the food overall was really good. The lounge also features small shower suites. These have everything in that you'd need. For example, they provide towels, toothbrushes, and toiletries for using the shower. They're really nice inside. There's enough space. They were really clean and tidy, uh, which is important. And also on this occasion, we didn't have to queue, but I'm not sure if that's always the case or we just got really lucky. But either way, really good shower area in this lounge. After spending a few hours in the lounge, it was finally time to board our A380 back to London. Our flight today was BA28 and our seats were 59 K and J. British Airways Business Class on the A380 is split across the upper and lower deck and seats are arranged in a 242 yin yang configuration. After boarding we were given a welcome drink of champagne or water, a menu for tonight's flight and the breakfast card. On the card you can choose the type of breakfast you have, be it a quick one or a full breakfast and based on this it's when they wake you up. The crew also handed out the amenity kits before takeoff. The current amenity kit is produced by the White Company for British Airways. The White Company amenity kits that British Airways provide in business class are the same regardless of which route you're flying with them. They contain things like an eye mask, earbuds, socks, a pen, toothbrush and also some creams like moisturisers and a lip balm as well as a few little adverts for Elmer Spa. The bag it comes in is actually quite nice and can definitely be reused afterwards. The crew screened the flight safety video and without any delay we were off on our way to London. So let's take a look at the A380 business class seats. All seats confer into a fully flat bed and on the seats will be provided white company bedding, a pillow and headphones when you board. Directly in front of the seats is the footrest. This forms one, a footrest when the seat is in a slight recline and two, it also forms the base of the bed when the seat is in bed mode. Do note these have to be stowed for takeoff and landing. Each seat has this divider between them which you can raise so you're not staring into a stranger's eyes but it does have to be lowered for takeoff and landing. At the base of each seat is a universal plug and USB and a small drawer which you can store some items in. When allowed to, to use the footrest simply move the handle down and pull it down towards you. If your legs are long enough you'll be able to reach it without reclining your seat. If they're not you'll probably have to slightly move your seat forward with some of the seat controls. One of our recommendations for travelling on the A318 business class is to grab an upper deck window seat and that's because you get these really big storage bins with these seats. You can store lots of stuff in them and like they fit laptops, iPads so they're quite handy for storage and they're right next to your seat. The tray table is also located on the side of the seat. Push the button to allow it to come down, you can have it half out or you can fold it out the whole way. 
The tray table then slides forwards and backwards so you can move it closer to yourself or further away. Do note it is pretty hard to get out your seat when your tray table is sort of fully folded out. Also located to the side of the seat is the controls. The first does bed mode, the next one does sort of a recline. The next one does the take off and landing mode, which is blue. You then have some other buttons to allow a finer adjustment to how you like it. And the final button does the seat divider. Above where the tray table is located is the in-flight entertainment. Press the button and pull the screen towards you. It can be quite fiddly. Do note you also have to stow it for take off and landing. Directly next to the seat is also a control for the in-flight entertainment so you don't have to keep leaning forward to change the channel. Finally, next to the seat is another USB, the two pin headphone jack, which they'll provide you headphones for, and a reading light it, when they dim the lights in the cabin. And quickly, the two toilets located at the front of the upper deck of the A380 are just absolutely massive. They were stocked with Elmis Bar moisturizer and hand cream, but there's loads of space to get changed and they even have a full size mirror in them. Let's take a look at the food we have served in BA Business Class. On this particular flight, I'm going to rate the food as terrible. I had the sea bass as the main and it was, uh, it was nice but it just became so sickly because it was so sweet. I literally couldn't finish it and it just made me feel quite sick. However, Jordan had the beef and he said it was okay. But the disaster continued with breakfast when I had the full English and I honestly thought I was going to have to get the life vest out from under my seat to save it from the pool of water that the breakfast was swimming in. So overall breakfast was poor. At this point I also want to quickly talk about the crew. The crew member that served us was really unfriendly. If we asked for something we got no acknowledgement and didn't know if we were going to get it. Jordan initially asked to reserve a beef because he doesn't like sea bass and they basically said no you're only silver instead of just saying we'll do our best. Also Jordan asked for a bottle of water with his breakfast and was told no because he already had a drink and also the crew member at one point literally stood in the middle of the cabin and said I can't wait to get off this plane. So the crew which are a really key part to a business class product were terrible. The British Airways Arrivals Lounge is located one floor above the arrivals after baggage reclaim. Access is based on passengers travelling in business and first class on long haul flights and also gold members in any class. No, gold members can't invite a guest. The lounge has a small area where you can have some breakfast with hot and cold items and also an area to make tea and coffee. One of the main features is the shower area. The lounge has a large number of showers and you can store your luggage in the luggage store and grab a shower after your flight. Inside, the shower cubicles are rather dated and old looking, especially compared to those Qantas ones we showed earlier on in the video. But they do have all the essentials and BA will also provide you with any amenities you need, such as toothbrushes. There's Elmer's toiletries and obviously they provide towels and there's a hairdryer. So there's everything you need, it's just not as nice and shiny as the showers we showed you in the Qantas lounge earlier. In the arrivals lounge, BA also offer a pressing service. When you're in your shower cubicle, you open this kind of two-way door, place your item inside and then close it and there's a little button you press so they know that you want to use this service. Also there is a um, radio in the shower cubicle you can tune into several channels turn the volume up and down it's a nice little added feature so that there's some kind of background noise while you're in the shower just as a note the concord breakfast room which is for first class passengers is located within the arrivals lounge and there's also a small elmis spa you can't pre-book appointments but we suggest you go up and make an appointment before you take your shower and have your breakfast so in summary the Qantas lounge in Hong Kong is really nice, but our flight overall with British Airways back in business class was rather disappointing. We felt that the food wasn't great and the crew really let the flight down as well. So next time we'll probably be taking Cathay Pacific instead. Thanks for watching and hope you join us in our next video where we'll be reviewing American Airlines Boeing 787 from Madrid to Dallas Fort Worth.